Of the 132 hostages held in Gaza, about 30 of them are believed to have been killed, their bodies still in the hands of the terrorists of Hamas, according to Israel. 110 hostages have been released so far. As the U.S., Qatar, and Egypt attempt to get Israel and Hamas to reach some sort of deal for the remaining hostages today, some movement but still no guarantee after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced that Hamas has responded to the latest, quote, expanded proposal. As we learn more about the hostages who have been released and their recovery, joining us now, the father of Emily Hand, Thomas Hand. You might remember nine-year-old Emily was released on November 25th after about 50 days in Hamas uh, captivity. Uh, Thomas, I can't imagine such a horrific, traumatic ordeal for such a little girl. How, how is she doing today? Uh, she's doing amazingly well. Uh, I guess it's the power of resilience in children. Uh, she's bounced back. Yeah. You and Emily recently spoke to some Israeli media. I want to play just a short clip for our, our viewers. Um, look mm -hmm. at that beautiful little girl. Let, let, let's run the clip. She actually has code words for uh, Gaza, terrorists. She has lots and lots of code words. It's, it's, uh, What's uh, what's Zaytim? Uh, th any any food or item that she doesn't like, she transfers that word. That's her code. So I guess she doesn't like olives. Um, doesn't like olives. Doesn't like olives. Uh, why do you think um, using code words helps her? Uh, I've asked her. She says she she doesn't like using the words of hostage, terrorist. Uh, yeah, all the, all the bad words, she doesn't want any association with it. So we're learning more about this possible new deal to get hostages out. Um, given your experience, what, what's your take? Do you think the Israeli government should do anything they can to get the remaining hostages back uh, free? Or, or do you think there should be some limits to what Israel offers? What's, what's your basic take on it? Yeah, as a, as a father, uh, you would, you would give everything. You'd give up your own, your own life. I would have, when Emily was there, I would have happily swapped if there was a chance. I'd give up my own life. Do you think that the Netanyahu government is doing enough? Are they focused enough? I've seen protests in the streets. The hostage families are basically a movement in Israel uh, pressuring the Netanyahu government. What, what do you think? Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen the news in weeks. Okay. Um, there's, there's both sides to every story. The, the families will be absolutely demanding that their family back, uh, their loved ones, and they'll, they'll give anything that they can to, give them, to get them back. Did Emily talk about uh, other hostages that she saw while she was being kept in captivity? Um, I know she was with uh, Itai. Swirsky, Swirsky. She was with uh, Raya, of course, uh, Hila. Uh, she doesn't really talk about them now. She just tells me that she was with them. Um, was she treated okay when she was over there? I mean, other, aside from the horrific act of kidnapping and the murder of her mom and all that, like, which, you know, is a, is a lot. Yeah. Um, but how were they? to her according to what she tells you? Uh, compared to other groups, she was in reasonable hands. Right, we've heard of sexual assault against some of the yeah. older girls. Yeah, there was, there was no beatings, there was no uh, molesting, uh, just lack of food, lack of clean water. Uh, they weren't allowed to go to the toilet without, without closing the door, they had to go to right. the toilet with it open. Uh, no showers. What lessons have you learned from her recovery that might help other people? Um, initially, when you meet them, if you, you're lucky enough to get them back, um, if you have a pet, any, any kind of pet, bring it along. Uh, bring along their favorite food, favorite toys, anything to reconnect them with their previous life. They've been living another life for 122 days now.
Yeah, tomorrow will be four months to this day. Um, You've been meeting with lawmakers. That's the reason you're in Washington, D.C. Tell us about those meetings and, and meetings with uh, the Biden administration or anyone else. Uh, how are those meetings going? Uh, very well. Um, yeah, we've been received very, very well. It's, uh, it's a combined uh, political uh, movement from the Knesset, like both sides of the House. It's a united front, which I don't think it's happened ever before. That's how committed uh, Israel is to getting them back. And what's your response when um, you see Americans ripping down the posters of hostages, Americans um, calling for a ceasefire but not calling for the release of the hostages? What, as somebody who had a little girl um, kidnapped by Hamas, how do you react to that? I find it absolutely amazing, to be honest. Um, They've been kidnapped, taken away from their families, and it's just a poster saying they're kidnapped. It's a fact, it's a statement of fact. And it's like they're, they're being denied twice. Uh, I, I don't understand it. I honestly don't understand the, the posters being taken down. I cannot understand that. I've tried, believe me, I've really tried to get into the minds I just cannot find a way to think. What, what satisfaction do you get out of it? What, what do you do? What's it saying? I, don't I mean, know. I could tell you what they say, but I, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna argue on their behalf because I think <laughs> it's absolutely inhumane. I'm so glad that your daughter is back with you. I'm so sorry that she went through what she went through. Um, uh, and I wish you guys nothing but the best and, and continued healing. Thank you for joining us today. For having me. I'm sorry I wasn't more uh, eloquent, but uh, you were perfectly eloquent. Really, perfectly eloquent.